Hello, my name is Danny Armstrong, and welcome to my hometown, Comanche, Texas. You ask yourself, why would you want to come to Comanche? Well, if you're looking for the bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic and the big shopping malls and the French cuisine, Comanche just might not be the place for you. Of course, if what you really want is these wide open spaces and a little special gift from downtown on the square, or maybe even some of that good Texas cooking, Comanche is the place for you. Now, I don't know if it's for a weekend, maybe for a lifetime, you're going to make some new friends right here in Comanche. I'll tell you what, come go with me. We're going to go downtown and meet a few of those new friends of yours. In 1856, the county of Comanche sat smack dab in the middle of the Texas frontier, and it saw tales from the Old West played out firsthand. Today, Comanche is home to Old Cora, the county's 1856 courthouse and the oldest existing log courthouse left in Texas. Located on the southwest corner of the town square under the branches of the Fleming Oak, Cora is the perfect photo opportunity as she welcomes visitors seven days a week. Yes, from Indian attacks to run-ins with the likes of Joe Horner and John Wesley Harden and Bloody Bill Anderson in Quintrell, those early settlers saw it all, and local researchers have spent years piecing together this rich Western heritage. Visitors in search of this Western flavor and genealogical information will want to visit our 14-room museum, one of the best in small-town Texas. The Comanche County Historical Museum is located with the county artifacts and large collection of genealogical notebooks. And not to be missed, the Comanche Public Library is a treasure for those searching for their roots. Comanche, Texas has often been called the crossroads of the state. And if you've been in Texas very long, I can almost guarantee that your family roots, or at least a branch of it, has passed through here. Everyone did at one time or another. Comanche County is also the perfect destination for the outdoorsman. From deer, dove, hog hunting, bird watching, or just relaxing in the great outdoors, we offer something for everyone. And for those who love the water, Proctor Lake offers a wealth of entertainment for everyone who wants to swim, ski, camp, or drop a hook in the water. So today, we invite you to come walk our streets, swim in our waters, throw a hook in Proctor Lake, set up a historical tour. Then, when you're ready, come in and browse our shops and grab a bite to eat because even if you didn't need a thing, you're going to feel right at home. Hope you enjoyed our little tour. Hope you come back to see us real soon.